Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UK. We have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as Wednesday is likely to be another very warm day with temperatures likely to peak around the 30 degree mark. But as we head into Thursday we are going to be seeing a cold front sweeping through. It does mean for the rest of the week it will be cooler for all. Now, it won't be cold, it is still going to be average to above average, it just won't be quite as warm and as, as oppressive as it has been the last few days. So if you have not enjoyed these very warm conditions, there is respite coming. But on the other hand, if you have really enjoyed these warm, hot, sunny days, then unfortunately we're going back to something a little bit uh, more towards average uh, temperatures back into the low 20s, maybe mid 20s in the southeast, cloud around and a few showers, especially the further northwards and westwards you go. And then as we had a look into, look into the longer range, to the final day or so of June into early July, it is unfortunately looking like we could be going below average now with those upper air temperatures. We have known it's going to be a little bit more unsettled to start July. Uh, that's been fairly apparent in the last couple of days. But today, the ensembles and operational runs really have pushed that jet stream slightly further southwards, allowing cooler air to dig in. And that essentially means that temperatures perhaps will be back towards the low 20s at best with lots of showers and potentially even some thunderstorms so going back to maybe start sort of conditions we had more towards the start of june instead of the more stunning summer-like conditions we have now so do remember if you enjoy my videos which you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in the description now if you start on the live radar you can see it's a very warm and dry evening we're calling this around 10 p.m and you can see there are a few odd showers to the north but most are dry and very warm if we put the temperatures on you can see that widely still inland we're well over 20 degrees and it will really not be getting much above the high teens in some areas so a pretty oppressive night not the hottest we've seen in the last few years we have seen some evenings staying only around 21 or 22 and that is pretty ridiculous for the british isles but it is luckily not going to be quite that high but still very warm around the 17 or 18 degree mark overnight tonight as i said temperatures tomorrow could get back towards 30 degrees you can see it's very warm across much of northern and western europe now if you look at the max temperatures today these are not the uh, all the weather stations but these are the majority of them and you can see widely we got towards that 27 to 29 degree mark i did say yesterday i thought we would get a rounded 30 degree unfortunately we fell 0.1 of a degree short of that only reaching 29.4 um, but i do think tomorrow will probably just about eclipse that maybe get towards a 30 and a very low chance of maybe a rounded 31 in there um, but yeah another very warm day for wednesday before it cools back down to maybe only 25 or 26 by Thursday and even lower by Friday. Now, if you do have a look at the latest UKV, if you do start on the precipitation, not too much going on, even though there is a cold front sweeping through, that actually isn't too much activity. Now, as you can see through Wednesday, there's a few odd showers around, but nothing too crazy. And then as we head into Thursday, you see the cold front sweeping in from the west. For most, it's just actually thicker cloud, not too much rain apart from Scotland. But as we head through Thursday into Friday, we do see that rain continue to dominate further north. It's actually it'll be pretty miserable in those areas, especially Western Scotland and Northern Ireland, where we do have persistent rain. It doesn't look too heavy at this stage, but it does look like it will last much of the afternoon through the evening and eventually clearing out to the east. You can see um, by Friday, it's another pretty decent day. A few showers still around, but nothing too bad and then as we head into saturday again some more showers pushing in and then as we head through saturday evening again we could see uh, some more showers pushing in as we head into sunday so saturday sunday don't look too bad not going to be bone dry though with showers around and some thicker cloud but for many it will still be a relatively dry and warm weekend now if you look at the upper air temperature you can see they are peaking at the moment around the low to mid teens but as we head through thursday we are going to see that cold front sweeping through giving fresher air for all not cold air but just slightly fresher and you see for friday again warmish conditions for england for eventually clearing away 
Now, if you look at the max temperatures, you can see as we head through Wednesday afternoon, temperatures are rising again to around that 29 or 30 degree mark even a localized 31 there for London. So around a 31 might not be too far out of the uh, equation here, but I do think widely it'll be sort of that 28 to 30 degree mark once again. As we head into Thursday though, look at the temperatures, much cooler. Maybe could get a 25, 26, or maybe even an isolated 27. But once again, for most, we are starting to see those conditions cool as we see that cold front sweeping through. Maybe only low teens out to the north and the west under cloud and rain. Into Friday, it's cooler once again, only 23 or 24 at best, most high teens or low 20s. But by Saturday, warms up a little bit, especially in the east, 26 degrees as possible. And the same could be said for Sunday, well, only maybe 21 to 23 in the far southeast, cooler further northwards and westwards. So you can see the subsequent days after the cold front sweeps through aren't going to be terrible, but they're not going to be particularly great if we're being honest. Uh, and yeah does look like there will be uh, plenty of cloud around, a few showers, but still some decent warmth. Now, if you have a look at the longer range now, we start on the latest GFS. You can see, again, high pressure in control at the moment, but you can see that cold front is pushing in with that low pressure system, going to give showers in places. And then eventually we do see it kind of oscillating between high pressure, low pressure, and very up and down for as we into the longer range, again, keeping with that low pressure theme. So you can see the low pressure is coming in from the west or northwest, and that's dragging cooler air with it. Uh, again, nothing too cold. It is the middle of, getting towards the middle of summer, really, now. But it is going to be slightly below average, maybe uh, high teens, low 20s, with plenty of showers and thunderstorms around. Better to have a look at this on the ensembles, where you can see the line graphs. It show, illustrates this a little bit better. If you look at the latest GM, it's actually broadly very similar, unfortunately. Low pressure pushing in and eventually oscillating between high pressure, low pressure, and the out towards day 10 got a northwesterly wind pushing in. Nothing too cold, but below average, you see blues pushing in. So again, nothing particularly great. If we finish by looking at the latest ECM WF, uh, again, high pressure in control, low pressure coming in off the Atlantic, and then oscillating between high pressure, low pressure, and out to day 10. Again, another chilly feeling day uh, with that northwesterly wind. And again, if we put on the two meter temperatures at the surface, it's not cold, but only high teens, maybe touching low 20. So definitely a much fresher feel. So if you don't like the oppressive humidity uh, and summer heat, then it's looking pretty decent to start July here for you. But if you do prefer that very sunny, warm, hot conditions where it's kind of mid 20s, maybe even towards 30 degrees most days, then it doesn't look like we will be getting that, unfortunately, for the first week of July at the moment. And you can see this consolidated on the latest ensembles. If you saw on the GFS, you can see very warm at the moment, a little dip, uh, or maybe big dip actually, around 10 degree. Uh, drop maybe but no maybe more around seven or eight degrees for london 10 degrees further northwards uh with that cold front sweeping in and then it jumps back up into the weekend and that's why we could still hold the mid-20s in the southeast and then so into next week to start july we drop below average by a degree or two not massively below average that's why the surface temperatures won't be too terrible but they certainly won't be uh, above average or anything remarkable for the time of year and you can see precipitation is fairly moderate nothing massive um but nothing uh, nothing sort of minimal either if you look at the, the sea level pressure, you can see it is oscillating, but generally more towards the lower pressure end, unfortunately. And if we look at the two meter temperatures, you can see it again dropping towards the high teens or low 20. So average to below average for the time of year. Unfortunately, you can see the last day of real warmth is Wednesday coming up, where you can see getting up towards that 30 degree mark. If we finish by looking at the latest ECM WF, very very similar unfortunately the midday run isn't fully coming out so we'll have to look at the midnight run instead and you can see again very very similar the ensembles pretty much agree with each other not quite as pessimistic with those upper temperatures to start july but broadly very similar with fresher or slightly below average and more precipitation pushing in so it is going to be very warm through Wednesday. It's going to remain warm in places over the next sort of three or four days. But unfortunately, into early July, it looks like we'll be going cooler for all, especially in the north and west and more unsettled with fresher conditions. Lots of showers, potentially some thunderstorms as well with these sort of patterns. Bit of warm air getting caught up in the low. 
could see that thundery pattern develop again that will sort of be uh, known at very short notice we'll have to wait and see for that but unfortunately although it's been very warm and dry this week it looks like it's a little bit of a blip it's kind of coming and going we've had a few days of very warm conditions building from late last week with temperature peaking around the heat wave thresholds for a couple of days this week but it looks like it's kind of one done we're not going to be seeing much of this again for at least another week or so maybe beyond that but I'm not seeing any major signs at this stage so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon